chapter 10, verses 1 through 9 for you Bible readers. Chapter 10, verses 1 through 9. And it says it like this. Chapter 10, would you stand on your feet and out of the word of God? It says it like this. It says there was a man in the there was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, mm -hmm. a centurion of the band called the Italian band. Uh -huh. Second verse says a devout man, one and one that feared God with all his house, mm -hmm. which gave much alms to the people mm -hmm. and prayed to God always. Verse 3 says, he saw in a vision, evidently about the ninth hour of the day, three o'clock in the afternoon, an angel of God coming in to him and saying unto him, Cornelius, verse 4 said, and when he looked on him, he was afraid and said, what is it, Lord? And he said unto him, Thy prayers and thy arms are come up for a memorial before God. My God. Mm -hmm. Verse 5 simply says, And now send men to Joppa and call for one Simon, whose surname is Peter. Verse 6 says, He lodgeth with one Simon a tanner whose house is by the seaside. He shall tell thee what thou oughtest to do. Verse seven says, and when the angel which spake unto Cornelius was departed, he called two of his household servants and a devout soldier of them that wanted, waited on him continually. Verse eight says, and when he had declared all these things unto them, he sent them to Joppa. Verse 9 simply says, On the morrow, as they went on their journey and drew now unto the city, Peter went up on the housetop to pray uh -huh. about the sixth hour. The word is blessed. Yes. The word is blessed. You may be seated. As you take your seat, just real briefly, and I'm, I'm going to be brief, uh, but I just want you to say to yourself, what? what? Say, it, say it loud, say it loud. Use your, use your dominant voice. Say what? What? Have you given God lately? Have you given God lately? Oh say it again. God. What? What? Have you given God lately? Have you given God lately? Come on, Pastor. And then I want you to repeat this with me. Say, when is the last time? When is the last time? You made a payment. You made a payment. On your account. On your account. Well, all right. Yeah. yeah. Watch out, Pastor. When is the last time? You made a payment. On your account. When is the last time? You lifted your hands. Come on, Pastor. You weren't looking around at nobody. You just wanted to give God some glory. Because see, when you say glory, you call God down. Mm. Watch out now. So when is the last time you lifted your hands? Mm. When is the last time you went forth in the dance? Watch out now. Y'all ain't going to say that to God. <laughs> when is the last time you spoke in tongue? Mm. And wasn't nobody around but you and Jesus. You didn't do it for a show. You didn't do it to put on a show. You didn't do it to get a Grammy. You didn't do it to get a Emmy. But you just wanted to give God praise. When is the last time you arrived in your car and the sun came on and, and all of a sudden tears began to come down your eyes? And I don't know if you've ever been like me, but there are times I had to pull over my car and I had to go to speak it in tongues and I had to go to tell it to God, thank you, God. Thank you for keeping me. Thank you for raising me. Thank you for lifting me. Thank you for bringing me out. Thank you for delivering my children. Thank you for delivering my wife. Thank you for delivering 
worried about how folks see you, but worry about how God sees you. Somebody said, Brother Preacher, you're losing me now. Well, let me drop this in. David's brother saw a shepherd, but God saw a king. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. When is the last time that you did something for God? When is the last time that you were sung a song and nobody was around? When is the last time that you was in prayer with God? And you said, look where you brought me from. You brought me from a mighty long way. You brought me over darkness. You brought me over hills and mountains. I was lost, but now I'm found. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. That saved a wretch like me. I was one lost, but now I'm found. When is the last time that you gave God something? That you praise God Even when you didn't feel good You praise God Lord have mercy That's what God says to Kniff Kniff You've been coming to my house You've been blessing my people You've been giving to my people But today I'm going to bless you Today I got something for you Today Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Lord have mercy. When is the last time the Bible said Cornelius was a devout man? He was the one who feared God. Lord have mercy. Yes, he did. Lord have mercy. And here's what I like about it. In our text, it said always he prayed to God and gave God alms. The Bible says generously. That mean he didn't have no remorse, but he gave to the Lord. When in the last time we complained about giving to God, Lord have mercy. Some of us sit in church and we don't we say to ourselves, I don't have nothing to give, but I got news for you. And Lord, and you got breath in your body, you gotta praise, you gotta praise, you ought to give God your praise, you ought to give God your hands, you ought to give God your feet. Yeah. Lord have mercy. You gotta have a next time. You gotta have a next time mentality. Somebody today is sitting in church and you saying to yourself, matter of fact, it may be often time, and you say to yourself, I'm gonna hide behind other folk because I don't have nothing to do. But God said, just wait until the next time. Lord, have you ever Gotta have a next time. A next time mentality. Gotta do like David did. David had a next time. David danced. The Bible said that David danced until he danced out his clothes. Until his wife got jealous. His wife got embarrassed. Lord, have you ever David looked at his wife and said, you think that was something? Just wait until the next time. Somebody ought to have a next time. A next time mentality. You think that was something? But just wait until the next time. My feet are turning. But wait until the next time. Now my family messed up. But wait until the next time.
I will, I will, and I'm going to the seat. I will. 